For a much higher jump, hold R1 and press X. So I guess now we could argue about uh, which one's it's, better. Well, I don't think there's really an argument here. Your, your entire argument is based on the fact that it feels better, which is a meaningless argument. <laughs> so you're saying that it's not that, I'm wrong, it's not that I'm wrong or right, it's that my argument is flawed and I suck. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Press and hold X while in midair. Man, remember how, I remember having to build out the tutorial for this. In every game, we have to teach you the helipack, the rocket pack, the high jump, the long jump. Yep. Every single time, there's always a segment where, okay, here's a five meter jump, here's a ten meter jump. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, a, an interesting rule that that we found out, and I don't think it's just a ratchet thing because. I have since heard this rule told to me by many, many designers of platformers, and that is that uh, when you have a double jump or a long jump or something like that, each gap that you make that you can jump has to be one more uh, multiple further. So a double jump gap needs to be twice as wide as a regular jump gap. A glide gap needs to be three times as wide as a regular, and you had to do it that way because otherwise the players wouldn't be able to tell just by looking at it what glide or jump they were supposed to use. Interesting. Uh, so you really uh, you have to over exaggerate it just by by multiples of you know uh, each time you add a further jump. I'm torn for what you should do next, Mike, oh, because yeah. blitz gun, great gun, no question. Mini turrets. Best gun. We should, I think, buy the Blitz gun so we have another gun, then go to the arena, get a bunch of bolts, and buy everything. It's an interesting, interesting idea. Uh, I think we'll do the other segment here because then we get the grind boots. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, well, I guess that's two segments because we have the, the other segment here and then we have uh, um, the grind boots segment. So um, I had something to do with this, the trash can with the trash in it. Uh huh. Uh, that you have to knock over in order to deploy the cleaning bots. Right. Oh, look at that. Look at that garbage going That's all over amazing. the place. Amazing. And then the cleaning bots go after the garbage. Yes, they do. Yes, they, attention to detail. I don't think I made the clean. I think Peter made the cleaning bots go after the garbage. But you know what's interesting, and I maybe not interesting as so much as expected, is for everything that was so difficult to get players to understand in Ratchet and Clank, you never had to tutorialize them break this for things to happen. Never. If you put something there, the first thing they would try to do is break it. Unf Without unfailingly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, you, you know, if you lock them in a room and there's a thing there, they will hit it with the wrench. Right. Or shoot it with a weapon. It's not... Uh, a, it's almost like um, like a baby putting something in its mouth, you know, like when it's <laughs> teething. It's like... Uh, uh, it's the... The one thing that you can do with absolute certainty with, without fear of being punished in a ratchet game is hit it with the wrench. Right. You know, and I suppose the, maybe that's why people hate the red crates because uh, they're kind of a violation of that. Well, it's also what we used, well, exploited in level 16 the with, crate, the, the... with the trap. <laughs> there was only one trap, well, a couple <laughs> traps. But it was, it's this weird thing that you can exploit in Ratchet and Clank that if you put a box anything, they will try to destroy it. Yeah. And you know the trap, the nano box trap, which I, we'll, we'll bring up later when we get to that level, but that was my idea. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I was, I, uh, I was challenged uh, to, just in a vacuum, come up with a ton of uh, you know, possible enemy setups. It was like a, uh, like a design exercise, right? Like, let, let's see what the junior designer can do, and if he comes up with anything good, we'll, uh, you know, we'll use it. And that was one of the ones we ended up using. Oh, there's a boss fight in this level. Oh, yeah. We rapid fire these boss fights in this game. The boss fight, this might be the point where we teach you on uh, uh, strafing, too. Ah, I see. I remember this boss fight being pretty tough. I'm going to say that now just in case I lose. That's a good, good cover. Oh, dude, we get the swing shot in this level, too. Oh, that's... So, this game has... I think my favorite swing shot segment. Really? Which one was uh, that? It's the secret hidden one at the end of level 14? Which, which, what was that themed like? 
Uh, it's with all the cars flying around. Oh, and you're, you're gr- off the cars. And you're grinding on the trains. I I don't think there's trains. When we get there, I think it'll be. But I okay. think it's in this game. It's my favorite one. But so we also give you the grind boots here. Uh, yeah, you, you. I think you are assumed to already have the grind boots, or or you get them out of Clank's locker or something. Okay. Now I know. Not this. Oh, isn't this that was necess- a bitch move. This isn't this game necessarily, but since we're talking about the grind boots, uh, I know you and Moo had a bit of a disagreement about the grind boots uh, after this game. After this game was done, and we start working on the next game. Moo, this you, is this is Anthony Moo. You you're talking about? Yes, because um, you think you seem to have thought that after this game we had done everything that you could possibly do with the grind boots. Oh, we have to come whereas, back here. Whereas so Moo wanted to. You know, put as many grind boot sections as possible. Right, I remember that. He wanted to just blow the grind boots out. Uh, I think I challenged him to come up with something new to do, and I don't know if he was able to. No, I don't think he won that particular bet. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we'll do it, dude. Just you figure it out. Well, because, I mean, there's there was definitely things to be done with the grind boots. Because, I mean, they're still using the grind boots in the new Ratchet Clank games. And they've got some pretty cool things they're doing. Have um, you seen the all-for-one on, grind boots? on the PS2... Man. We kind of had maxed out with what we were able to really do. In uh, in Deadlock, they did some cool stuff with uh, like grind rails that were dynamic, and you could bolt bolt crank them around and stuff. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean we 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 uh, we did a pretty good job of, of realizing the potential, I think, of the grind boots in in these early games. I get them with one mini nuke shot. I really do like the fiction of this level with the cleaning bots and all that sort of stuff. It's cute, isn't it? I think Colin, it is. I think Colin was the designer on this one. Uh, Colin Munson? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I just love the idea of, you know, everything's just gone a little wacky. Ladies and gentlemen, another 90 degree turn. <laughs> oh, they're man. everywhere in this game. They are. I, I, this must have been before uh, uh, Brian Algeyer would yell at me every time I'd design one in. He, and, you know, to be fair, he never yelled. Brian was a super mellow guy. <laughs> <laughs> He'd just be like, you know what? Why don't we try it without the 90-degree the turn? I'd be, you know what? You're right. Let's try it without the 90-degree turn. It's such a lousy job of taking care of you. I thought I'd come and handle things myself. That Ooh. helicopter is too small for that guy. He, he, he has to have no legs on this model. <laughs> probably, yeah. Uh, you know, he's probably just built into that thing. Oh, crap. Oh. oh, oh man, he got that guy hurts. Well, you know what? It I to, I said it was hard earlier, so I have plausible yeah. deniability for losing that one. That guy just basically one shot you, unless you came in with no health. Um, let's go with I came in with no health. Okay. Oh come on. If I had the the uh, what are they called the the thing you said was the best weapon ever. The mini turrets. Yeah, if I had those, this fight would probably be a lot easier. Oh yeah, ah. for sure. The mini turrets made everything easier. Okay, so the the chopper stops me when I'm when I'm running with it. So I can't strafe and use the chopper. I think that was a balancing thing we put in because the chop. Oh wow. This guy really does hurt. Because the chopper was really powerful. So, but the benefit, of course, Mike, and the great secret of Ratchet and Clank is. If you die enough, <laughs> you'll get through, and you know we'll give it to you. Oh, do we really want to lift up our kimono on that one? Uh, or I maybe. guess I guess at this point, lifting up Insomniac's kimono, not ours. No, but... I guess maybe we'll keep it a little bit of a secret. It's too late, dude. You already let the cat out of the bag. No, we'll just we'll just leave them at that, and then they're gonna just wonder and ask questions. <laughs> and oh, then... okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. The game pyramid. I love the story of the Game Pyramid. And this is a story I'm really not sure if we can tell. No, no, we can tell it. This is fine. I'm going to tell it, and then if there's a big blank section here, you'll know it's because I couldn't tell it. Should so, I keep going while you tell it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. just so you know, that's the Insomniac Game Pyramid, that that, that blue... Th- so pi- it started out as a PlayStation 2. That was its first iteration. It was a PlayStation 2 there on hey, Clank's coffee no table. And you would play it, and it would be fun, and everybody has a great time. But there's a line in the PlayStation TRC that says you can't have a PlayStation 2 in the game that you can also hit and destroy. 
And the uh, TRC is the, the guidelines that uh, Sony sets for what they will publish on their system. Right. And it's a fair rule, yeah. I suppose. I mean, you don't want your system to be a punching bag in your game. Right, um, yeah, you don't want people to do nasty things to the, the PlayStation 2. or Right. And you also can't put your competitors' uh, machines in there. Which was what happened, because we put, we, they made us take out the PlayStation 2, and so Peter decided to, I guess, test the test department over there and drop it in as an Xbox and see if maybe nobody would notice. But of course they notice. <laughs> and uh, we had to come up with our own game console to put in there. Which was the Insomniac Game Pyramid. The Game Pyramid. And that made a triumphant return in Up Your Arsenal as the, the place where you play the uh, Captain Quark side-scrollers. Right. I love the saga of the Game Pyramid. Oh, I man. love that they try, that he tried to pull a fast one on Sony, being like, well, we'll put an Xbox in there, and that should be totally <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, that was, that was good times. Uh, I think that was around the time also that uh, the greatest bug in the history of the bug database got put in. Uh, uh, yeah. Slingshot yeah, yeah, yeah. bombs in level two should not be your mom. Yes. It was an amazing bug. So every everyone, tell them about joke bugs while I play this. Uh, so every now and then, everybody, we work a lot of late hours uh, in the fine world of video game making. Want to blow off some steam. And uh, every now and then, people would get tired of bugs, and somebody would put in a joke bug and sort of pass it around the office for everybody to have a good laugh at when everybody's stuck in horrible bug fixing mode. And uh, Slingshot Bomb Should Not Be Your Mom was a bug entered by Peter, and uh, it basically everybody in the office got a turn to add a horrible pun. To your mom. To your mom on the bug. <laughs> the uh, the thing that it's 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 a little bit important to know is that the Sony's bug, Sony's test department had to say, you can buy the Blitz Cannon. Must not be able to buy Blitz Cannon. You know, uh, so game it. Uh, you know, t- uh, slingshot bomb in level two must not be your mom was kind of a reaction to that. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't that much funny. <laughs> oh, we have four platinum bolts. Yeah, what so do, what I guess do we, what do we, want we to get? upgrade, and this is our first introduction to mods, I guess, in the game. Yeah, they, they hadn't done this before that. We have four, uh, four The lock-on mods. mods are always particularly good. Right, we got the, but you can't move with the chopper, though. So I think, uh, I always remember liking the lock-on mods. Okay. So that'll, you know, they make we, strafing a lot better. We can, uh, we can get these three. Uh, but yeah, so say it would go to a... Uh, uh, you know, go to the character artist, and he'd say, "I, I think your mom could use a good boning, because boning means you know putting a skeleton in a character." And he'd he'd say, "You know, this is really a problem for the the rigging guy." So he'd send it to the rigging guy, and the rigging guy would say, "Oh no, this isn't the problem. The problem is your mom needs a smooth skinning." So then they'd send it over to the the guy who was responsible for skinning the models and so forth, and it just turned into a huge your mama joke, and it was pretty funny. So I think that's the end of this level. That is. We're through. I'm going to buy more ammunition, and then we're going to go, what do you think, back to the arenas? Uh, let's do level four, because that's my level. Okay. Uh, I like to be able to talk about myself. <laughs> so let's talk about me in level four, and then after that uh, would probably be a good time to get some more bolts and to gear up. Because um, right. that's when the game starts to get pretty hard. I think we're about to, the level's about to step up in this, uh, in this game. So... Stay tuned for the next episode of whatever the hell we're calling this. The developer (laughs) commentary of Ratchet and Clank going commando. I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. See you next time.